All right, I think I fixed the audio and video off sync. All I had to do was decrease the resolution on the video when it's recording from the webcam, and it looks like it doesn't lag, so hopefully this works. But yeah, uh, I guess this will be the abridged channel taken for February. Um, I just played a ton of Mass Effect pretty much because I have like over 10 Shepherds. I love that game and I'm like pretty much obsessed with it. So 3 is coming out and I'm in crunch mode to just get everybody through it, but it's not going to happen, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, and like most of them are Paragon anyway, so it's probably going to be like the same playthrough with a different character, different stuff happens. But like not very different because most of them are full Paragon or or a uh, renegade to some extent. Now I have like one renegade person that like kills everybody, so that's basically the extent of that. I'm not gonna go into details right now. I'm thinking about making a video of like all my shepherds and just putting up, because that's basically what I've been doing the whole, like this whole math month. Like on Raptor, I have like almost 100 hours on Mass Effect 2 this month because I haven't played it a ton. But then I ran into a roadblock because I was on my Fimship Paragon Soldier, and uh, I got to suicide mission, and I, f I messed up my save before you go to the Mega 4 Relay, so each time I go through and like finish the mission, Morden dies, and I can't go back to a closer save to that point, so I'm basically stuck like a, there's like a 9 hour gap of gameplay I need to redo to like fix things and get them to, in the way I want them to, so that kind of took the wind out of myself when I was playing yesterday. And then um, after that, it's just the Renegade Fimship, and then full Renegade, or evil Renegade Engineer Guy, and then middle option Dude Ship. And that's pretty much everybody except for the two mixed ones, but I'm not going to play through with them until I know what decisions in Mass Effect 2 matter in 3, so I can like mess stuff up the way it's supposed to be messed up to make their playthroughs all the way they're supposed to be. This one's basically a paragon that does renegade options, like kill the Rachni, don't save the council, and the other one is a renegade that does the good stuff, like they save the council and they save the Rachni, so it's like an opposite behavior of what their archetype is. Um, yeah, oh, Mass Effect 3 demo, I played that. Um, I, when I played the single player part, I just played with the sound off, so I didn't know what anybody was saying, so I have no idea what happened. And I wasn't watching, I was doing something else at the, at the same time on the computer, so I was like, I just like get to dialogue and like mash X and like look away. And then like, when I went to gameplay, I would actually play, but like during the whole cutscenes and dialogue, I'd be like, no, don't spoil it, so. The only reason I did that is because of that Facebook thing, the uh, app for recruitment or whatever, to like get the bonus stuff in multiplayer and then I think I'm not gonna worry about it that much anymore though because like multiplayer is really fun so I'm hoping that stuff's just stuff you can unlock and I have to buy so we'll see but I have a feeling they're gonna just pour out the DLC on the multiplayer side I'm not sure about single player yet like they already leaked something I didn't look at it what it was but for like the single player but apparently that's free if you have the in seven edition edition which I already pre-ordered so I'm good for that uh, so yeah, I paid off my pre-order for that and Street Fighter Cross Tekken uh, yesterday, so pumped for those. Um, yeah, like it's weird because like Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I wasn't initially, I was initially hyped for it, but then like when I found out it was coming out, out the same day as Mass Effect 3, I was like, ooh, that's not a good time for me for that to happen, but I'm still looking forward to it. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll just not pre-order it and get it later. But there's like pre-order bonuses, so it's like, of course I have to buy it. And then, like, they have, like, all the bonus characters that are probably going to be in it in the beta version that's going to come out later. So as far as that goes, like, it doesn't bother me because I'd rather get the game now and then have the beta version come out, like, whenever. And then you can, and then, like, I just say, like, why do I rather have it now as opposed to waiting six months or nine months? And, like, all they're adding is different characters anyway. And they already said, Capcom, I think, said they're going to just keep uh, updating the game through DLC and more characters, so... Or like it's the only disc version that's going to come out, so it's not going to be like when the Uber edition comes out. It's not going to be another disc you have to buy. They're just going to sub, uh, add on to whatever is the base game with DLC that you can download, and you don't have to buy another disc version, which is 
good, um, unlike Super Street Fighter 4. So yeah. Uh, arcade Edition was different because it was like a DLC too, so... The, I guess it's going to be like Arcade Edition where it's like you can just DLC or download all the extra content after the base game, game comes out. Didn't even my like teams when I first start. I'm going to practice a bit on Street Fighter and just like use them like when I first start out playing because I... Yeah, like it's, it's going to be like more familiar for like that fighting style if it's 2D, so I'll just stick to a 2D for a while, but after I get more familiarized, I think I'm looking for a like Ibuki and Xiaoyu team or Ryu and Kazuya or like Ryu and Jin, that would be pretty awesome. Or just like mix, and, mix all the characters up from like the opposite sides, to, that'd be pretty cool. Like a Ken and uh, Steve or a Ken and Paul, Phoenix, because they're both like American, so yeah, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, besides that, Master 3, I have a video that I'm about to upload after I upload this video, and it's basically just like gameplay of like clearing one of the levels, because all the videos I made are like over 15 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be putting up more than the one I put up after this, but they'll be like split into like two parts or whatever, so whatever. And then after that, I unlocked a, uh, I just unlocked a Kurgan Soldier today, and I have a Drill Vanguard, so I'll make some videos of those too. And then upload that. And if I, ever get, and I get any more alien races, I'll uh, make some videos and upload that. I gotta say, I, I'm like loving the multiplayer right now. I just can't stop playing it. So I'm glad I have that to look forward to after I finish the campaign of uh, uh, the game. So yeah, that's, that's like I've already played like, like ten hours maybe. So yeah, like I already replay value in the game when I get it. So I can't wait to play. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, I play engineer, so. Yeah, like Eng Engineer, Sentinel, Vanguard, I'd say the top three classes in that game. Though after playing the demo, like the soldiers are very, very uh, helpful. They're like a good, they're like, like, yeah, soldiers and infiltrators, I don't enjoy playing them. Infiltrators more so, just because it's not my, my cup of tea, but they're very good to have on your team to like support you with their powers and abilities, because uh, infiltrators can like cloak and, and snipe, so that's awesome. Soldiers are just like, really tanky and damage dealing, so that's cool. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about Master 3, I can't wait for it to get here. It's like, every time, like every week, Bioware has like a video or something coming out, and it's like, just, ah, oh, that much harder to wait. And then a demo, and now it's like, I'm playing the multiplayer nonstop, and it's like, man, I can't wait to get my hands on the full game. Oh, oh yeah, also about the demo, like I love all the stuff that like they added to Shepard's, uh, his like maneuverability, he can like roll, Basically, they took the movement system from Gears of War 3, and it's not... Whereas, like, Mass Effect 2 was the shooting was so much better, and it was, it was on par with Gears. Now it's like the movement and cover are on par, because the cover was still... It was good, but it wasn't as good as Gears, or... or uh, it basically was just, like, not as jank as Mass Effect 1. It was just, like, really good. But, like, now it's basically up to par with Gears, which is a really good cover system and combat system, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how long this video is right now, uh, so I guess I'll go into real quick what I picked up since the last video. Rayman Origin. Someone, one of my friends has just been, like, raving about this game and how it's so awesome, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll get it, because it's on sale for 20 bucks at uh, GameStop, so I was like, whatever, nothing, nothing that was there. And uh, this is Distant, Tr Distant Worlds, well, or Distant Worlds, blah, blah, blah. Distant Worlds 2, Music from Final Fantasy, it's basically a, uh, uh, or orchestrated, uh, or orchestral arrangement of the music from the game, so yeah, I had the first one too, and the DVD, I uh, really like it. I got this a while ago, this is the town on Blu-ray, um, basically I'm just like really like the heist movies, where it's like Heat, or, or if you play, if you play Payday the Heist, where like dudes, with guns, whatever, and they're like doing a job to like steal stuff or rob something. That's I don't know, a crime drama, or whatever. That too. Well, not crime drama, just like just like the specifically like the heist of like going in to steal something and then like escaping and like having a plan. I'd give examples right now, but yeah, I'll, I'll do it next time. And then I picked up uh, this is like really cheap on Amazon, like six or seven bucks or something. I already have it on DVD, it's the uh, Advent Children, so Final Fantasy VII. I'm in like, that's the uh, complete edition with all the extra stuff, so I haven't 
checked that out yet. Everybody says like the added uh, deleted scenes and stuff is like makes it better, so hopefully it does. Uh, this is Batman Begins. I have Dark Knight, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen Batman Begins in forever, and I was like, well, I have the first one, I guess I'll get the second one, and it was cheap on Amazon, so I was like, yeah. Um, I hadn't seen it forever, and I like, wanted to see the first one, because like, I watched the second one like every so often, because it's so awesome. So yeah. And you know, Dark Knight, Riot, or Rising, whatever, the third movie, coming out this summer, so yeah, gotta be ready for that. Uh, let's see, Matrix Ultimate Collection, I didn't, I have it on DVD, I got it on Blu-ray because it was cheap, so, like, that's the only reason I got, like, any of these DVD, or Blu-rays, is because, like, I usually just get, like, DVD, but, like, lately it seems like the prices on Blu-rays are, like, coming down, where it's, like, it's as cheap as DVD, so it's, like, if I get it, I guess I'll just, well, if I'm gonna, like, get the movie anyway, I might as well just get it for, like, the same price, if not just a bit more, just get, like, a better, like, video quality, or video and audio quality, and then lastly, I got, uh, Farscape, I love the show, on a Blu-ray, that's like the whole season, and then like this is the every TV movie to like end the series, Peacekeeper Wars, and oh, lastly, actually, this is the uh, collector's edition of the Mass Effect art book, I haven't opened it or looked at it or anything yet, so I'm waiting until I play through and finish the game, because I'm sure it's full of spoilers, and I'm like, not gonna happen. And I got this uh, Mario push as my my own Valentine's Day gift to myself because yeah, sometimes just need something. Or yeah, I'm not kidding. That that, that sounds weird. Let's pretend I didn't say that. But yeah, that's my gift to myself and stuff. Uh, wow, I, I kind of lost my train of thought with that comment. Oh yeah, Bioware stuff. So besides this art book, I also got the um the tracksuit, N7 tracksuit that they just came out with, so when I get that, I guess I'll make a video of that. But uh, besides that, I'll make a video eventually of like, all the swag of crap I have. It's in the planning phases. And then, um, let's see, I think that's it, so yeah. Oh, Master 3 videos, and that's basically it until next month when I will not make a video for a while because I'll be playing Master 3. So. Have fun with the SSX3 or binary, binary Domain or Twisted Metal or whatever game you've bought now or will buy. And then also that day that Twist Mass Effect 3 and uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken come out is uh, the Silent Hill HD remake, but I never see that has like 2 and 3, Silent Hill 2 and 3 on it, and I really want to get it, but it's like, uh, too many games, I'll just pass until it's cheap, so. Yeah, enjoy your games, have fun, and uh, until next video. Later. Oh, also check out AimlessPodcast.com with the podcast that I'm always talking about. And, uh, yeah, and stuff. Alright, that's it. Yeah.